Gabriel Libertoy, wing, England of the 20s. When I was a kid, I was more football orientated, so I always wanted to play at Highbury or the Emirates. And then as I got older, my body started changing, I suited rugby more. It was only later down the line I really gave rugby a go, and I'm very happy I did so, because I'm here now. I'd describe myself as fast, quite elusive and unpredictable. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> Oh, ever tried one of the most outstanding finishes from a winger. Well, my finishing ability has probably come from watching a lot of rugby online, seeing wingers finish in the corner in tight areas, um, and also watching the, how the guys inside want our wingers to be, what areas they want us to be in. So that also helps getting myself into better positions to be able to score those tries. The one-hand dive was audacious. He is Superman. When I hear Superman watching the game back at home, it makes me laugh because I'm far from that. Um, it's always good to be the person to put the ball down in the corner. And you've got to give credit to your teammates as well because they, they're the ones that got you into that position. So it was a whole 15-man 15, 15 effort. The 2017 Championship was a really tough one for us. Um, we came across five strong sides, Samoa in the first test, which really took us to a new physical height. And Wales and Australia in the group, that felt like a final for us in both games. We came away from those games thinking that we need to improve for the next game. The same final against South Africa was a tough one, nail biter. And then in the final, we, yeah, we didn't put our best foot forward against New Zealand, which is a bit disappointing. But to come that far in that whole calendar year, we won nine out of ten games, winning the Grand Slam in the Six Nations as well. So as a group, we, we performed very well. It makes me hungry to come back this year. It's always good to get two bites of the cherry, so hopefully we can do one better and win the World Championship. I've learned that we've just got to go from the start. Every game is pretty much a knockout with the way the tournament's set up, so you can't leave any stone unturned in preparation. And in the game, you've got to go in from minute one. If you start 10 minutes too late, the game could be over. The ultimate aim in my career is to be able to pull on that senior men's England shirt. I think as a kid growing up, watching them do it, everyone wants to be on that stage, playing at Twickenham, playing against the best in the world. So that's where I want to be in a few years' time.